Oh, you can pick up Puka Muka. <laughs> Yo, Frieza. Oh, what is that? Okay. What? Oh. Dude, that guy's a better swordsman than Mar at the end. What is up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of a new series called Items On. In this series, I'm going to be interviewing top Smash Bros. players, talking about how they got started, asking serious and some not-so-serious questions, and finding out any advice they have for people new to the game, all while we're playing specifically with items on, hence the name. So let me know in the comments who you guys want to see interviewed in the series in the future, and any questions you'd like me to ask them. Now, for our first episode, we are super lucky to be joined by none other than Mr. E, one of the best Marth and Lucina players in the world. If you're a Marth or Lucina player or just want to know more about the character, he has a very in-depth Marth guide on his YouTube channel and also posts a bunch of other Smash-related content, so definitely check out his channel and give him a follow on Twitch as he also streams on there. Now, some of Mr. E's accomplishments include winning Invasion 6, Glitch 2, and he's taken sets off of Zero, to Buzz, Nairo, Light, Tweak, pretty much everybody out there. But probably his proudest accomplishment was his 2-0 win over Juggle Boy at the Big House back in 2016. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Are you ready to begin? Let's get it, bro. I'm excited. I don't really play with items like too often, but okay, so I love you'll playing probably with learn some new stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've got uh, random stage selection, so we'll see where. Okay, not too bad of a oh, stage. Hi. Wait, oh, hi! Oh, snap! I haven't seen this stage in so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, so could you tell us a little bit about your just uh, intro to Smash Bros. in general? How you got started? Because um, I see that you have been playing back since like Brawl. Yeah. So. So, like, I pretty much started, like, I mean, I, I pretty much played Smash, like, my whole entire life type thing. Like, I, I think the earliest I remember actually playing Smash was when I was probably, like, nine or, like, eight. Um, one of, like, my, my good friends at the time just happened to bring over, like, Melee to my house. And I was like, whoa, this game is so much fun. And I was just, like, a little Fox player who, like, didn't know anything. <laughs> about, about, like, you know, like, obviously, I don't even know if they had, like, a comp I'm sure they did have, like, a competitive scene. Um, oh yeah, like back sure. then and stuff like that. But I just did not know about it at all, you know. But um, ever since then, I've I've been like on and off with Smash. It's always been my my favorite game, but I never knew that they had a scene for it. But then, like in um in like middle school, my friend uh, was sitting at my table, my lunch table, and he started talking about Brawl, and I was like, dude, I used to play like Melee when I was younger, and I we basically just became like rivals since then. Like he said that he could beat me, and I was like, nah, no way, this is my game. And then, like, I just found, like, this website called All is Brawl. And then, like, I started just my... Com I pretty much started playing competitively, like, there. Like, I started joining, like, their ladder. They had, like, this really cool ladder system where it was, like, uh, you could just challenge people and you would gain points if you beat them um, and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then I found, like, local tournaments in my area for the game. And ever since I went to my first tournament, I just never stopped playing. Awesome. Stayed in the competitive scene. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, let's see what else. Uh, you are stuck on a deserted island and you get one video game to play for the rest of your life. What game is that? Oh my gosh, dude. Just one video game for the rest. One game. It could be Smash, it could be a different game. Um dude, I would I would I would play Smash man. I would literally yeah, play okay, Smash okay. like twenty four hours in the day and just is it Literally ultimate no or everything. brawl smash um, or melee? Yeah, I, it would be it would be ultimate. It would be whatever the the newest one is. So that if gotcha. I ever like get off the island, I could just come back and just like <laughs> ultra and then wreck people. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll just pick I'll just use like DDD and I'll secretly know that he's like the best in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like win a freaking super mean. Dude. Literally years of research. <laughs> yeah. Actually years of research. <laughs> yeah, so um, oh, nice. Okay, so what is your most memorable set that you have ever played? Wow, my most memorable set? I would say it's definitely um, defeating Zero at uh, EVO 2016. Oh, that's, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's definitely. that's probably, like, my most memorable set for me. That, that tournament cool. was probably, like, one of my strongest tournament place, placements, even though okay. I got, like, 13 at that who tournament. Who else did you beat there? Um, I beat Salem. Uh, right before I beat Zero. Um, and I also beat, I'm trying to remember the other people that I beat, but I think I beat some other good players as well. Like, Rich Brown was playing, and like, that's when he okay. was like yep. really yep. in his like prime type thing. 
Um, but yeah, I would say that's my most memorable set for sure. Let's go Knuckles. Man, <laughs> when are we going to get Knuckles for Smash? We Honestly, him, though. That would oh. be so hype. <laughs> Okay, so you obviously travel a lot because you go to a lot of different tournaments and everything. Yeah. Do you have a go-to fast food when you're on the road? Oh my gosh, a go-to fast food. Um, so typically I, I try to stay away from like just like McDonald's and, and stuff like that. But usually, if if I'm when I usually when I travel away, I try to like stay away from fast food. I prefer to go to like more local areas, like you know what I mean. Like I prefer like <laughs> yeah, a local yeah, yeah. like pizza place or okay, local okay. like. You know, just like a Asian food spot or like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I prefer just stuff like that for the most part. But in terms of fast food, I would say I, I eat like Taco Bell out oh, of the yeah, other I fast foods. Love like me some lot. Taco Bell. Yeah. Like <laughs> I actually have a whole freeze. video. I have a whole video on uh, how to save money at Taco Bell. Oh my gosh, really? It's a menu <laughs> hack. So definitely <laughs> check that, that video out. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> that's really hype. Okay, here's one I got from a viewer. What goes through your mind when you're playing a set? Oh, wow. So, so what goes like, my mind? what? Yeah. So, like, no, obviously not, like, right now, but, yeah. like, you're playing, you're in the zone, like, you're playing against zero, you're playing against someone real good. What? Yeah. What's going through your mind? So, I would say it's definitely changed over time for me, but it's, like, once I kind of got to, like, a, I would say, like, a certain level... My mindset has kind of just been the same every single set. Like, with me, I treat everybody the same. Like, you know, you could be someone that I think is a lower level player than me, or you could be the best player in the world. My mindset, for the most part, is just the same overall. And, like, my focus when I'm playing is literally just on the game and on, like, the game's options type thing. Like, I try to just block out everything else. Like, it's almost like nothing else matters to me besides this that set. Like, you know, it's like the world could be ending, like, before my eyes, but... The only thing that I'm focusing on is, like, just the game's options, and I'm just trying to stay focused. Okay. Um, one of the things that I've been doing lately is uh, trying to make sure I always um, look at my opponent's character instead of my own. Because, like, I feel like ideally you should be able to always... If you could just look at your opponent's character and just analyze what they're doing, you don't have to be looking at your character at all type thing. Yeah, Sometimes you kind of sure. have to, like, look at the stage as well for, like, for, like uh, certain spacing and stuff like that. But for mm -hmm. the most part, it's, like... I want to make sure my eyes are on my opponent's character and not on mine. Yeah, because when you're watching your opponent, you can re respond a lot faster. You can yeah. see what they're doing, everything. Exactly. And you definitely catch on their the habits when you're watching them. Yeah. So. <gasps> oh snap! No. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I just realized you were last stock one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stocks go by pretty quick. Okay, here's a good one. Now, would you rather sound like Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck for the rest of your life? Oh, but that's actually super funny. All right, um, Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck? I think I'd have to be Mickey, honestly. But I feel like if you sounded like Donald Duck your entire life, like whenever you stream, people would always be laughing. You know, so <laughs> true. I think <laughs> so, either way, people are gonna be laughing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but Mickey, I, I probably Mickey, probably Mickey. <laughs> Okay, okay. Do you follow any other fighting games or any esport games in general? Like, do you follow the scene? Ooh, other that's than a, yeah. So, yeah, so I actually follow the Gears of War scene. Um, I have, like, lots of friends who, like, play, like, Gears of War, so... And it's, like, really interesting to me, like, watching them play. And, like, they're all, like, super ultra competitive. And, like, they all, like, kind of talk trash to each other and stuff. So, like, watching that is, like, always really entertaining for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I also like watching Melee. Um, oh, I yeah, like watching sure. Melee a lot. Um, let's see. Do I want, do I follow? Uh, I also, like, watch a little bit of Fortnite, but, like, not really. Like, I don't watch any of, like, their competitive stuff. But, like, you know, I know of, like, the players. And, like, I, yeah. I kind of pay attention a little bit. Um, I saw that uh, Mr. Beast donated, I think it was 1200 or something to your stream. Oh, yeah. He, he donated time. like yeah. 1200 and like $45 <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was actually it watching was really that video wild. by itself and saw that you were streaming. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was so freaking wild, man. <laughs> and the thing is, I, the other day I was literally, like before he came to my stream, I was watching a Mr. Beast stream. And I was like, I mean a, a video on YouTube. And I was like, uh -huh. This name that's in my chat right now that just donated to me sounds very, very familiar. But the thing <laughs> is, I was new to Mr. Beast at the time. Like, I had literally just, like, watched one of his videos or something. Yeah, that was when he was, like, growing, like, crazy. Yeah, and, and I was like, 
dude, this is this guy is crazy. Like he's donating all this crazy <laughs> amounts to like money to everyone. Yeah, man. And then that's awesome. Yeah, but I found out that um, the question he asked me if, when he came to my stream, he was like, he was like, "Are you a kid? Are you a kid? It's time for the test. Will he pass the test, boys? <laughs> Are you a kid? I'm not a kid, no." No! And if I said yes, he would have donated $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was choice. like, no, I'm 21, man. <laughs> but, yeah, I had to hold that L. But, hey, I mean, I, I'm still very grateful I mean, he came can't through. can't complain like, about 1200 Yeah, exactly. You can, man. Like, you can. <laughs> That's OD. That's actually crazy. What is OD, man? <laughs> okay, so now in Smash 4, you started off playing Marth. Um, yeah. You then played some Lucina as well, and now this game, it seems to be, you play a little bit of mixed Marth and Lucina. Yeah. Uh, could you give your comparison of the two characters? Because a lot of people are saying they're pretty similar, some people are saying they're really different. Yeah. Um, so who do you think my... is higher tier? Yeah, so I honestly think that, like, so the biggest difference between Marth and Lucina right now is Marth's Dancing Blade. Cause like Lucina doesn't have that. Like her dancing blade is really good and it'll kill. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So her so her Lucent so her dancing blade is really good. Um and sometimes it will kill at like higher percent. But Mars dancing blade can kill at like sixty if you get it tippered. The thing is Ooh. like it's just kind of difficult. That's you know lots of people say it's like Mars dancing blade is inconsistent. But you just have to really make sure you try and time like the last hit. And like the last hit is like is like everything. So mm -hmm. that hit, if you get it, like for example, I was in um, a video. Well, like when I played versus Void, um, I took a game from him because I killed him with Dancing Blade at like sixty percent, and everyone was like that. Or it was like that killed that early. <laughs> so um, that's really the main reason why I like Mars so much is literally just because of the Dancing Blade. But overall, I think Lucina is gonna be a tiny bit better because. Um, she just has a lot more reliable kills at higher percent, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes, yeah. um, Marth, at high percent, you have to get, like, a tipper up tilt to get the kill. And then it's like, okay, if you get a regular up tilt, it's gonna stale, and then it's just gonna be harder type type thing. Yeah. Yep. So, I think Lucina is better because she just has, like, more kills, like, back air, um, like, her dancing blade is still good. It's just not ultra, ultra, mega good, you know? Like, Marth's, um... But yeah, that's like the biggest difference between them, and I and I think Lucina is a little bit better right now. But I do think it, like a perfect playing Marth compared to like a perfect playing like Lucina, the Marth is gonna be better type thing. <laughs> so yeah, no. Uh, if you could remove one state from the U.S., what would it be? Remove one state from the U.S. <laughs> yes. Um. One state has to go. Down to 49. Oh my gosh. I have never thought of this. I don't really have any beef with any states. Be careful because if there's any viewers from that specific state, you know. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. I, 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 yeah, I can't think of a single state that I would, I would <laughs> want to remove. <laughs> okay, if there's no decision, then uh, North Dakota gets the boot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> North Dakota? No, I'm, I fr a friend of mine is from North Dakota, so I I can't. Um, what about right. a state like Wyoming? Like, I don't think anyone actually lives there. Wait, Wyoming? <laughs> that's not that's not where Smash and Splash is, right? Uh, no, that's uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, peace, Wyoming. Yeah, so you get. As long as you still get your Smash and Splash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as like it's it's not the Smash and Splash state, uh, then it, it can kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it can dip. It can <laughs> Yo, sorry yeah. if anyone is from Wyoming though. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure there's no one from there. It's like yeah, I'll be mad funny if you're actually just like, <laughs> dude, I'm from Wyoming. <laughs> Turns out I have my biggest following from Wyoming. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> uh, Dang. Okay, so Martha and Lucina, uh, they might not be like. Ooh, okay, that's yeah, a right. that's a good item. Great. Um, Yo, my health <laughs> so Martha and Lucina are pretty good characters in the game. Um, I mean, some people are saying Lucina's one of the best characters. Yeah. Uh, but let's say they were, like, absolute trash, absolute bottom-tier characters Yeah. in the new game. So new game comes out, they're horrible players. Uh, would you still main them? Um, or mm, if you no, had I'd... to main someone else, who would it be? Like, who would yeah. be your next favorite to go to? Um, yeah, so I definitely wouldn't main them, because at the end of the day, it's like, I... 
I really like, what's the word? I had character, like, the, well, the term character loyalty for literally, like, my entire Smash career. Like, you know, I stayed using Marth, like, in Smash 4. I stayed using him in Brawl. So, like, you know, I've, I've definitely, like, d been down the, the character loyalty road. But at the end of the day, I realized that, you know, if you really want to be the best, like, it doesn't matter who you, like, well, not, not that it doesn't matter who you use, because it matters who you <laughs> use, but, like, exactly. like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not going to use a character that I don't think is capable of, like, having the best tools for success, you know what I mean? Like, if I see a character yeah. is broken, yeah. I'm going to use that character, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to make sure my chances to win are, like, as high as they possibly can be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's one thing to be called like all carried and everything, but at the end of the day, like you know, it's 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 about if getting that. If you're playing to win, you know, it yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, a win, <laughs> is a win dude. Like <laughs> that's 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 what the mindset, that's the mindset I have right now. E even though I'm using, I I think Lucina is really really good. But if she wasn't as good, or like if Marth wasn't as good, like I, I I wouldn't be using them like competitively, you know. Okay, who is who would be the next character you want to play though? Um, the next character, um, yeah. the next character I would probably play. Is now, what? not it's not just like uh, the next like best character in this game, but like who would you want to be good? Who, oh, who, are you rooting who would for? I want to be good? Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. So if it wasn't, so I mean, Crom is good, like really good. Yeah. So like I would probably use Crom, <laughs> like another <laughs> another sortie. But I would probably I would probably use like. Um, if Palu stays like how he is, or maybe even Joker when Joker comes out, like if Joker is yeah. really insane, I would like love to give him a, a shot, you know. Okay. Oh. Okay. Bye, Mini Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, tiny Kirby. Yeah. As if it wasn't already light enough. <laughs> yeah. Right. But yeah, it'd probably be like Joker when Joker comes out. Um, possibly Palu Tenna though. Like I like how okay. she plays in this game. <laughs> so okay. I'd probably. Is there use any her. um any other character like? Uh, from games you've played, like the series and everything, is there any character you're a fan of? So, like, if you like Pokemon, is there a Pokemon um, you'd want? Or? Yo, if they had freaking, like, okay, so if they had, like, Zoroark in the game, that would be my main, yo. It'd okay, crazy. okay. Yeah. Zoroark for Smash, we need him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to go into the next question, who, who do you want in Smash the most? If you could have any character, Sakurai gave you a golden ticket to get any character, Realistic, and unrealistic. It could be anyone. It could be Shrek. Anything. Okay. Who would it be? Um, any character. This is gonna be hard. I think we might have to go with Crash Bandicoot, yo. But but it, wait, Bandicoot. no, no, but wait. Okay. It could be any character from like any not, character. Not just yeah, you could put yourself in the game. If you oh wanted. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Dang. So I don't know if we can use Crash then. We'd have to use like. Because <laughs> we might already be getting Crash. You don't want to waste. Your yeah. Smart, exactly. Smart. Um, <laughs> let's see, um, we might have to use, like, Naruto or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, we might, have, we, might have, we might have to use Naruto. <laughs> Naruto or Goku. We might need well, Goku. you can pick you know. up Fukumuku. <laughs> Yo, F Frieza. <laughs> oh, what is that? Okay. What? Oh. Dude, that guy's a better swordsman than Marth. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's wild. Wow, today I I learned. Even, I've okay. never seen that guy. Uh, he's a 6th gen Pokemon? 7th gen? Oh, wow. Uh, he basically is like Wubbuffet, where he like pretty much is just there to like counter and do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. I think that's about all the main questions I got. Um, but do you have any advice for someone who is just new to the scene? A lot of people are just starting off with a new game. Yeah. Uh, look, what advice do you have just to get started? How to get to the top level? Right. So I would definitely say, um, you know, it's 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 definitely like uh, uh, it's definitely like a long road. You know what I mean? Like you yeah, don't yeah. wanna you don't when you first start going to tournaments and if you guys decide to go, start going to tournaments like you know it, you, you don't want to like start you don't want to focus on losing you know what i mean like you don't want to like dwell on any losses like that's what's gonna that's what comes with getting better 100 percent. like i i still know now that when i lose like you know losses you know they, they suck and everything but at the end of the day like the it's it matters how you handle the losses you know what i mean like you don't want to Sometimes it's hard to get like demoralized, like demoralized and stuff, especially after being like so close to like you know like a goal that you that you set for yourself. But you know all that all what what matters is that um, you just 
like stay passionate about the game and you know you just don't give up like it's it sometimes it might feel really easy to give up but you know what what, what if you if you give up that's the difference between like you getting better and and someone that doesn't give up you know what i mean like the person yeah. that will get better is a person that like tries their best to like stay motivated and stuff and to just do ex do everything that they can to like get better like you know what i mean playing yeah, online yeah, with for sure. people who are around your skill level um yeah. i do think the online in this game lots of people say that it's not that good of a way to get better but i play elite smash a lot and i know a bunch of other players <laughs> that do too so yeah, it kind of yeah, helps for sure yeah. yeah, and um, like the matchmaking system isn't perfect, but I mean it. Can, it's a lot better than <laughs> Smash Four, where you you're now playing people around your skill level. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's pretty nice. But yeah, so losses suck. But you know, everyone yeah. like I've had a million losses. Like <laughs> I'm, keeping I, a I've good had... mentality super important. Yeah, exactly. You know. So, so like most people in tournaments, most people go zero and two or one and two. So like don't get discouraged. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, it, it happens, you know, like someone yep. ends up going zero and two or one and two regardless, you know what I mean? Like that yep. happens at yep. the tournament. There's always going to be people doing that. Yeah. And the difference between the people that like go oh two and, and one and two for the most part is, you know, they, they just like the people who go farther than that, they have been there before and they do what they can to not give up and to just yep. like, you know, stay focusing and just stay like learning what they can about the game whether it's like watching videos um looking over their losses like if they ever get on stream like little things like that can really help um oh yeah and stuff so yeah also asking advice like you know lots of, i know lots of people that do that and i've given people lots of advice and then now they're they're threats to me you know so <laughs> it all helps <laughs> And definitely playing so. friendlies after you get out of the tournament. Don't just storm out salty and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I, I, I've had my fair shares of salty walkouts. I mean, we all <laughs> have. We all drive, have. drives home mad. Like, out, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Make sure yeah. you drive home safe. You can be mad, but make sure you still drive. Home safe. Drive home safely. Yes. Yeah, but um, you know, just just try to always have like a clear mind. You know, yeah. understand that losses that losses come. Well, I think so. that's about it. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Dude, make no sure problem, to man. subscribe to Mr. E's <laughs> YouTube channel. Give him a follow Appreciate on Twitch it, as well. Uh, thank Dude, you for joining me was... for this first episode. Definitely, man. This was so much fun. I, I love these <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also let me know in the comments what kind of questions you want to see in the future as well and what guests you want to have on. But thank you one more time for joining me. Yo, no was, problem, dude. Uh, those Anytime, were some man. great games. <laughs> definitely, dude. I had fun. <laughs> so let me know what you think of the series, and definitely in the comments, let me know who you want to see in the future. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.